Welcome again. In this lecture, we are going to discuss outliers with the help of this practical example of some data and we are going to discuss it alongside missing values and noise. Now as you can see over here, we have got some data that has got 8 records and have 3 features, while the 4th column has labels. The first three instances belongs to class A and the next four belongs to class B. Now in this data, missing values are the ones for which no value is being provided like we can see over here. This cell does not have the price value for the product that has got ID 408. Now missing values can be easily identified, however the next problem is how to deal with it then we can also have noise in our data. Now a noisy value can be identified as the one that does not comply with the rest of the values in the data set. As if you can see over here, the product that has got ID 439 has a tax value of 688. Now if we look at most of the values of tax column, they are in a single digit. For example, 5.33, 6.21, 1.05 and over here this value is a lot different from the rest of the values. Which means this is most probably a noise value. A noise value can either be because of a human error because the person who was entering this value missed a dot between 6 and 8, 8 or it may also be due to a number of other software and hardware issues. But once we have such problems in our data, as we said earlier, we cannot pass on the same data for training the model and we would want to get rid of them before training a model. An outlier can be considered as an instance represented by a row that has got problems with most of its features. like. Over here we have a value for price that is very much different from the rest of the values and same goes for the values for the text column. So to conclude, missing value is the one that does not have any value provided. A noise is a value of an instance for a feature that does not comply with the rest of the values. In other words, objects that are generally good but have problems with values of a feature. An outlier is considered to be the one that has got more noisy values and therefore that complete instance is less trustworthy. In order to deal with these issues, we can perform these two tasks. So the first one is detection, how we are going to identify if a value is missing, a noise or if a complete row is an outlier. And once we have done that, we would want to come up with an approach that would fix those values. So let's just talk about detection at this point. The detection of missing values is quite obvious because obviously the cell is empty and we can clearly see that this is a missing value. A noise value can be detected as the one that has got its value out of the range. So. It means first we need to define what a range is and that is going to give us the legitimate range of values for that feature. Any value that falls outside of that range on either side is going to be considered as a noise value. And as we said earlier, if we have range for multiple such features and a record or a row has got multiple values falling out of that range, then that is going to be considered as an outlier. So this was about the detection of outlier and if I could summarize it in few lines, missing values can be seen clearly, they do not have a value for a specific feature, while for noise, first we have to identify a range for a feature and then all the values that do not fall in that range are going to be considered as noise values. A row or a record that has got multiple noisy values is an outlier. So once we have detected a value to be a missing value or a noise value or a complete record to be an outlier, we are going to find a way how to fix it. So the easiest or the lazy approach for fixing is to remove that part which has got the problem. 
Now we can remove the complete row that has got the missing value or the noise value or if that itself is an outlier, we can get rid of that row and the rest of the data is good enough and can be used for training the model. However, in other cases, either if we do not have enough training data or if there is too many rows that has got such problems of missing values and noise, then in that case, we may not be in a position to lose rows. There may also be a case that a problem of missing values and noise values may only be for a specific feature. Like some hardware may have hard time in finding the values for a specific feature. And in that case, removing the column may fix a lot of our problems. However, if removal is not an appropriate choice, as we said, either having too few training instances or too many instances having such problems, then we have to find a way to correct those values. And correction does not mean that we have to identify the correct values, which is not possible. But what we can do is to compensate its value with some value that would make more sense than the one that we currently have. So we need to find a way where we can put a value that is not going to deteriorate the results and that is going to make a lot more sense with the rest of the values. However, in case of outliers that has got problems with multiple cells, we have to consider or repeat the process for each one of them.